Welcome to release 7.8 of Google Play Services. You are here because you want to build better apps. And that's exactly what Google Play Services is all about, allowing you to build better apps. Let's get started with the highlights in this release because we are excited to present some really new cool stuff. Let's start it off with, yeah, that's right. We have a new API. Let's welcome the Mobile Vision API with a round of applause. The new Vision API enables you to build really amazing things. One part of it is the Faces API that allows you to detect faces and different characteristics of faces in images or even in real-time video. So here, for example, are some of my friends working at Google. And as you can see, the location of all of their faces has been detected by the Faces API. And faces can be detected in different angles too. It doesn't have to be oriented straight forward. It can, for example, be tilted and turned and all the other possible positions that you can see here, but that I don't have time to perform with my own head. And once a face has been detected, you retrieve the different landmarks in the face. For example, the location of the eyes, the mouth, the cheeks, the nose base, and even the ear tips. How cool is not that? And believe it or not, you get even more with this one is my favorite. You can detect whether certain facial characteristics is present using classifications. For example, if an eye is closed or open. Or how much smiliness the face has. For example, this here would be close to zero. But this one would be a smiliness close to one. And remember, since the Faces API can detect these things in real-time video, you can create really cool apps. Let's look at one in real life. So here I am, sitting on the sofa, trying out an app that uses the Faces API to detect if my eyes are open and whether I'm smiling or not. Let's try it out, starting with eyes closed and not smiling. I detect that your eyes are closed. Please open your eyes. That's beautiful. You should always keep your eyes open. Now wipe that grumpy grin off your face and smile instead. Lovely. Smiling is good for you. You should always smile. Amazing. And you may think now that that was it for the Vision API. But it's not. You get even more. Because in addition to the Faces API, the Vision API also has a barcode API. So pretty much in the same way that you can detect faces in images or videos, you can also detect barcodes. So go out there and create some great apps with the Vision API. And remember, it has both a Faces API as well as a barcode API. And it can detect things in images as well as in real-time video. In this release, we also have announcements for Google Cloud Messaging, where we have expanded notification to support localization. So you can now construct notification messages that will be displayed using the locale of the device it is sent to. And to get ready for the Android M release, we've added high and normal priority to GCM messaging. This allows you to set messages that need immediate attention to high priority. For example, a chat message alert or an incoming voice call alert. This brings us to yeah, that's right. It's time to announce another new API in this release. Let's welcome the Nearby Messages API with a round of applause. <laughs> Nearby Message is a cross-platform API to find and communicate with mobile devices and beacons based on proximity. You may recall that a previous version, we introduced the Nearby Connections API that allows you to discover other devices and create connections, allowing them to communicate in real time. Great for local multiplayer gaming, where players can use their own device as a remote control connecting to a central game server. And now we're extending the Nearby API with the introduction of Nearby Messages. Nearby Messages allows your users to find devices and share messages with them through a publish and subscribe API. This allows you to build apps with rich local interactions between devices. For example, to collaborate on content, forming a group, vote or something on something, or broadcasting a resource. So how does Nearby Messages send these messages? Well, first of all, it can use the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi signals to connect and exchange data. But it goes even beyond that. Ultrasonic sounds can also be used to transmit messages. That's right, sounds that we humans cannot hear. And that contains the information. That's pretty, pretty amazing stuff.
And there's even more. This API is also used to pick up information from beacons. So beacons are these devices you can put up that broadcast information through the nearby messages API. And any device that is close by can then pick this information up and act on it. And that's it for this release of Google Play Services. But be sure to check out these resources as well. Now you have some work to do to use these fantastic APIs to build better apps. That's right. Go out there and create some great apps. And don't forget to tell us all about it. Bye.